Hello, welcome back to Top Play Family. In this video, I am going to share with you the top seven things to do with kids in Grand Rapids, Michigan. My name is Carmen Sinyovi. If you're new to our channel, we are the Sinyovi family and we're all about fostering togetherness as a family by experiencing new adventures here in New York City where we live and all around the world because we love to travel. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Top Flight Family. Number one, visit the Grand Rapids Public Museum. So we were fortunate enough to stay at the JW Marriott, which is literally right across the bridge from the Public Museum, and we had a lot of fun here. One of our favorite exhibits was the Streets of Old Grand Rapids, which basically recreates the whole downtown area of the city as it might have looked in the 1890s, and it's just super, super detailed. Like for example, they have grocery stores that stock real merchandise, like antique cans and packets of flour and things like that from that era. So it's a lot of fun. Our girls also really enjoyed the toys exhibit, which included an overview of vintage and modern toys. Um, so we were talking about everything from like erector sets and paper dolls that baby boomers might have played with um, to the toys that Gen X people played with like uh, Hot Wheels, Holly Hobbies. And then all the way to millennial kids um, who might have played with things like Super Mario and My Little Pony. So to the girls, it was like really fascinating to take a step through time and see what kinds of toys their parents or grandparents or great grandparents may have played with. But by far one of the highlights of the museum is that we got to ride this beautiful restored antique Spillman carousel. Um, the carousel was originally manufactured in 1928, so it really is quite a treasure. Um, there are 44 horses to choose from, um, plus two chariots, and then there's also a few like really fun and unusual animals like giraffe, whale, deer, goat, tiger, camel. Um, so it's really fun for the kids to kind of look out for those more unusual animals and ride those as well. Number two is visit the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. This is a beautiful botanical garden and outdoor sculpture park, and it covers 158 acres. And it's just a really gorgeous place to admire both nature and also modern art. So I highly recommend taking the tram tour. This departs about every half hour, runs for about 45 minutes, and it's staffed by volunteers who will actually take you through some of the best pieces in the park and tell you a little bit about the history of each artist and about the work itself. So the park is really, really massive. Um, it would be a lot to walk the entire thing with especially younger kids. So the tour is great because it just gives you a nice overview of all the different sculptures. Another thing you can't miss at the Frederick Meyer Gardens is the Lena Meyer Children's Garden. So this is an area that's specifically created for kids and our girls loved it. Um, from the very beginning, <laughs> there is a tiny like kid sized gate in the wall um, that kids are like the perfect size to fit through. So they already felt really special from the get go. And the garden also just has a lot of like water based exhibits that allow kids to kind of splash around. Um, and then there's also this gorgeous network of tree houses that the girls loved exploring. So it's just a really fun way for kids to get close to nature and be active and just really enjoy themselves. So chances are, if you are going to be spending the day here, you will get hungry at some point. And um, I would highly recommend having lunch at the James and Shirley Balk Cafe, which is in the main building of the gardens. Um, the dining room has a lot of natural light. There is a really gorgeous uh, glass ceiling sculpture um, by the artist uh, Dale Chihuly. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but it's just a really nice place to have lunch. Um, and the food is pretty good as well. So the girls ordered from the kids menu. Um, Serge and I each ordered a sandwich and some wine. And the sandwiches were simple, but very tasty, you know, nicely prepared. And it's just a nice place to enjoy lunch before you continue uh, to explore the gardens. Number three is walk across the Blue Bridge. So the Blue Bridge stretches across the Grand River and it was originally constructed as a railroad bridge back in 1892, but since then it has been converted into a pedestrian walk. Um, so it's really iconic part of the city. Um, it's also one of the longest truss bridges in Michigan. I am not sure what a truss bridge is. <laughs> but apparently it's one of the longest ones. Um, but it's just really pretty and you know, definitely iconic to the city. 
Number four is rent a retro boat. If you'll be in Grand Rapids, especially during the summer, it's a great idea to explore some of the surrounding areas. So Saugatuck is a really cute beach town that is just 40 minutes from downtown Grand Rapids. So we drove out here and we went to Retro Boat Rentals, which specializes in renting out these rare classic runabout boats. So all of these boats have that kind of like jet age design, that was popular in like the late 50s, early 60s. Um, so they're actually boats from that era, but what they've done is retrofitted them with completely modern electric engines. So when you are taking them out on the lake, they are completely quiet. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I also really love how the team at Retro Boat Rentals um, really takes care of everything. They give you a uh, Bluetooth speaker to take out on the boat. Um, they will even give you a cooler so that if you've got cold drinks with you, you can have those staying cool um, out on the lake. And, you know, it was just a lot of fun. You know, we hooked the Bluetooth speaker up to our phones and we were blasting Old Town Road, which the girls are currently obsessed with, of course. Um, and it was a really great taste of, you know, what Michigan summer is all about. Number five, spend the day at Oval Beach. Okay, so embarrassing confession, I have always assumed that all lakes are still bodies of water because all of the lakes I've ever been to didn't have any waves. So when we got to Oval Beach in Saugatuck and I saw these huge rolling waves that, you know, frankly, you could actually surf on, um, I was really confused and surprised. So for those of you who live near Great Lakes or spend a lot of time there, you're probably laughing at me, but hey, you know, I'm an East Coast girl. This is completely new to me. But we had a great time hanging out at this beach. The water was really cool and refreshing, and it was really interesting to experience fresh water uh, for a change. You know, we're so used to the salt water of the ocean, which tends to sting your eyes sometimes or dry out your skin. And it was really nice to experience sort of a freshwater beach uh, afternoon. So if you're gonna be in the Saugatuck area, definitely check out Oval Beach. Number six is snap a selfie at the Love Sculpture. So I'm a big fan of public art, and one of the most iconic sculptures currently in Grand Rapids is the Love Sculpture. So it was unveiled in May of 2018, and it's by the artist Robert Indiana. Um, if the sculpture looks familiar, it's because the Love Sculpture um, is also in Philadelphia. There's also one in New York, and I think there's a couple other cities around the world. Um, but it's definitely become kind of an icon for the city, so make sure you check that out. Number seven is unleash your inner ninja warrior at Sky Zone Grand Rapids. Now I put this one last because Sky Zone is actually a franchise that has locations all over the country. So it's not really unique to Grand Rapids. However, we have two very energetic and very active girls and we absolutely loved going here. It was a great place to go to let them burn off some energy. Um, so basically it's an enormous facility that has everything from trampolines to aerial silk trapezes, and they even have an entire Ninja Warrior course. So if your family likes to watch that show together, your kids are going to love getting to try out some of those challenges themselves. You know, we spent several hours here and the girls were absolutely in heaven. It's exactly the kind of thing they love, like being rough and tumbling and jumping and zip lining. So definitely recommend uh, hitting this up if you have active kids the way we do. Okay, so if you wanna see everything that our family did in Grand Rapids, just click there to watch our travel vlog from that trip, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.